Welcome back to a course on Calculus RS Integration. In this lecture, we are going to talk about integration of vector valued functions. Let us begin the, with the definition of uh, this idea. Okay. So, here let us consider some function f which is defined from the closed interval a comma b into rk. So, rk means it is this function f is a vector valued function. Now, this is defined from a to b to rk means it is going to take any value and is to be mapped with some element in rk. So, this is an element in rk which means this will have coordinates k coordinates and all this can be treated as a function of x. And alpha is usually taken as monotonically increasing function, right? So we take alpha in the usual sense that we take. Suppose if we have to say this f is Riemann Stelzer's integrable on a b, if it has to be so, it means what? This is going to happen if your f1 is Riemann Stelzer's integrable, f2 is Riemann Stelzer's integrable, and the same has to be true till the last coordinate. All if all these are Riemann Stelzer's integrable on the closed interval a comma b, then we say that this function, this vector valued function f, is also Riemann Stelzer's integrable on the same interval a comma b. Okay, and what is going to be integral a to b? F d alpha. We know that f is a vector valued function here. What is it going to be? It is integral a to b f1 d alpha comma integral a to b f2 d alpha till integral a to b fk d alpha. So this is how we define the integration of vector valued functions which is defined in this space, okay, in Rk. And uh, now let us see a theorem. We are not actually going to prove this theorem. We will just take this theorem and see whether we have seen this in any of the previous lectures or not. If small f and big F maps a comma b into rk and if small f is Riemann Stelzer's integrable on a comma b also the prime of f is your f then we will have integral a to b f of t dt is f of a minus sorry f of b minus f of a. So this is the fundamental theorem of calculus for the vector valued functions. Here uh, we are not actually going to prove as I said but we will see how these things happen. Okay? How, how can we validate these things? Only that we are going to see. Okay, see your f and f maps a comma b into rk which means your uh, small f as well as big f both are vector valued functions. So when both are vector valued functions which takes any, in, okay, uh, to these two functions we will have to apply some element in this interval a comma b. So for some element in a comma b your big F of x is going to be what? F1 of x, F2 of x till Fk of x. Right? And similarly your small f of x is what? Small f1 of x, f2 of x and till uh, small fk of x. Okay? As for now, just take a pass here and come back to here. We can say a vector valued function is Riemann Stelzer's integrable if and only if it coordinates at Riemann Stelzer's integrable. Okay? All these coordinates, uh, each fi of x is real valued 
and member of this set that is Riemann Stelzer's integrable. Okay, so with this idea, if we have okay, and it is also given that f prime is small f. Okay, what do we mean by f prime? Let us go back to our uh, course on uh, differentiation and see your f prime. Okay, from this your f prime of x is going to be simply f1 prime of x, f2 prime of x, till fk prime of x. Okay, we, we are given that your f prime of x is same as that of f. This very well it is given. So this tells you that your fi prime of x is simply fi of x and this is true for all i runs from 1 to k. Okay. Now what is the thing? Integral a to b f of t dt is f of b minus f of a. If you have to prove this, okay, initially this means what? This is integrable. If this function is integrable, this is going to happen. Okay, by using fundamental theorem of calculus for this function, okay, for this function, integral a to b f1 of x dx may be written as for this corresponding one is f1. So it is f1 of b minus f1 of a. This is not only for 1, this is going to be true for all the i runs from 1 to k. Put everything in a tuple, k tuple, and see, you are going to get this. Am I right? So, this is the ideology behind this theorem, and this theorem is the fundamental theorem of calculus for vector valued functions. Mm -hmm.